Hey guys, Make Up Side here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome back. 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 Eh? In this video, we're going to be talking about two new things I got from my mom. She bought this today. It is the glitter palette by iMagic Cosmetics. It looks like this. I'm going to be talking about this cut crease applicator. I've seen it all over the web. It's, it's like a viral item that people was talking about that you basically apply your concealer or um, eyeshadow primer onto this and you press it onto your eye and it forms a cut crease and I guess this is for people who have a hard time making cut creases and I, I want to see how effective it truly truly is so I created this look right here and let's just say I don't know let's just say so if you guys want to see how I accomplished this um, bronzy ombre glitter eye then just keep on watching Okay, so my brows are already done. Um, if you want to see how I did my brows, then you can follow me on Instagram. Check out my Insta stories. I always do like little mini tutorials on my Insta stories. So, check it out. So, I'm going to get ready and prime my lids using Beautiful Bronze by Pro Conceal. And I'm going to be mixing it with Warm Sand also by Pro Conceal. Um, just so I can get that highlighted effect. So that way the colors can really pop. So I'm going to get ready and prime my eyes. And I'm also going to be setting it with my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. And then we're going to get started. Okay, so now that my eyes are set and ready to go, I'm going to be taking my favorite transition palette, which is, well it's not a transition palette, I just consider it a transition palette because that's what I use it for. <laughs> um, the Modern Neutrals palette, and I'm going to be taking um this color right here and mixing it with this one it's kind of like a burnt um orange mixed with brown the sandy orange i don't know i'm gonna mix those two together and i'm uh, putting it as my transition color i don't even know why i said transition when clearly it's like crazy but anyways, I'm going to be taking that same exact brush and using, um, picking up this color right here. That's like a brown. And I'm going to be putting that in my crease. <laughs> um, right where I put the first one. And I'm going to be blending that out as well. But I'm going to be blending it out with a lighter color. brown is there I'm gonna be taking this orange right next to the first one I used it's pretty light um, and I'm going to be blending that now this will be my transition color and I'm just blending out that brown and then we're gonna go to grease guys now for the fun part I'm gonna be taking this um, tool my mom just bought this from I know everybody's seen it, it kind of went viral for the cut crease I guess it's like an easy way for people who don't know how to do cut creases to you know do cut creases because that's like my favorite thing to do everybody who follow me like my you know supporters they know that I love doing cut creases and it's like my favorite thing so my mom bought me this and I was pretty intrigued by it cuz I'm like hmm I wonder if it can do just as good as me. So I was like, I mean, why not give it a try? So I have it, and it's pretty flexible. It's actually really bendy. I didn't think it was going to be like that, but, um, yeah, it's pretty bendy. And it also has, like, it looks like a spray thing. You know how, like, those old school perfume bottles it looks like this. So I'm going to be using that, and I'm going to be putting um, my concealer on. This is warm sand. I'm going to be applying it to 
the I'm thinking about doing a half crease. I think I'm gonna do maybe a full. Let's see how this. I think I did my crease too low because that's how I usually do my crease because this is pretty high. Um, I don't know. Let me kind of like bring up my because it's like covering the part where I usually cut it at. So let me kind of like bring up the darkness and then let's go. Okay, so now that I've brought the dark part up, I'm going to get ready and put the concealer on the applicator. Oh, I can't be doing the most. This is kind of messy. So I've seen someone else do it. So I'm going to do it just like a half one. I'm not going to do it all the way full. So maybe like that. I like to put a lot of concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Two coats is good enough, I guess. Okay, so since I did it on this side, we're gonna start with this eye first. So I guess I'll have to close my eye. I'm nervous. So um, I don't know. Let's just see. Okay. Okay, so the moment for the reveal. I don't know. I don't know what I just did wrong, but this look. Maybe let's try again with the other eye. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fix this. Look at this. Okay, so here we go. Once again, we're gonna try it. And I hate that it's just so high. That's the only thing I don't like so far. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, look at my eye. <laughs> okay, seriously. Let's, let, let's do it, okay? So nervous! Okay. Let's do it, Sai. Okay. I keep blinking, so. Let's see how this one came out. Okay, I rocked it. This is so... This is disrespectful, okay? Like... No. I'm gonna put some more concealer. Let's try this. I don't want to discourage anyone that actually wants to buy this thing because they don't... They have a hard time doing cut creases. So let's just try to do it again. I'm putting, I'm, I'm, I'm applying more concealer. <sighs> Let's go. Let's try to see. Okay. All right. Oh. I don't know. It looks like this eye, so. It's just so high up. I hate this. Like, my eye is small. So, like, this would be for somebody who don't have hooded lids and they have more than enough room. So, I guess that's okay. But, um, and then it's not far over like I would like it to be. So, I'll just have to, like, drag it out just a little bit more. So, I'm thinking about ombre it out using maybe these three one two three my first I was gonna use this one but I'm like nah I think I want to use this one for some reason so maybe one two and then three at the end just to give it that dark effect so let's go we don't need no glitter glue we don't need none of that let's just go okay. Okay guys, here's the final look. I know a lot of people asked uh, questions about my lip. In the last video, I used a liner, a brown liner, 
by um, Nika K. This one is just a regular brown liner. The last one was a dark brown liner. So there's a difference in the color. Um, my overall thought of the cut crease applicator was it was, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Simply because, first of all, it didn't even apply properly and it. it applied way too high for my eyes. Um, my hood is a little bit lower than that. So, um, it was a little too high and then, I don't know, I just, I didn't think that it was really effective for me, my opinion. Um, but overall, I mean, it's pretty cool, you know, I feel like it was like a good idea for those people who want to know how to do a cut crease and they just can't do it for the life of them. So for this, for them to make this, it's pretty cool. It's like, oh my God, it's so neat. But you know, I thought it would have worked, but for me, it's a no sense. Okay. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. And comment like things you want to see next. Because guess what? The videos ain't going to stop. Ooh.